Shout out to my training club people. Check this. Graceful pursuit of a superior self is what it says, but this won't focus. So, it's early. Here's my physique. Go eat. Normally, I would be eating cream of rice as my pre-workout meal, but I had a ton of carbs yesterday. I'm all carved up, and I just need to get to the gym, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, so skipping that pre-workout, Amino X. This has caffeine, shaker cup, two scoops of creatine. This is for post whey protein, glutamine. Let's get started. This is like five scoops. <laughs> Purple cap. Best creatine in the game. Oh, holy crap. I almost forgot. I've been doing two packets of pumped edge before the gym every day, before the pre-workout, and it's been oh, fucking amazing. So let's do that first. Drink this, get my protein ready, get my pre-workout ready, get my bag ready. I'll talk to you guys in the car. Drink what is up everyone? Good morning. It is Monday, July 9th. Damn, this year is flying by. So I've got some explaining to do, and more or less it revolves around my lack of putting out content. This is a recurring theme in all my videos, and if you can't tell, it drives me crazy. So, bring you up to speed, if you're new to the channel, hello, welcome, my name is Ethan. I am training for my first Classic Physique competition, which will be this December. I have picked a show date, by the way. So the story goes, I was, actually yesterday, walked into the office to get some work done and possibly edit a video that I had somewhat filmed. And I was sitting there, I was like, I don't like this footage. Like, this footage sucks. Like, I can't put something out like this. It was a simple, like, review unboxing video. Nothing crazy. But that's part of a bigger picture because I had started to get into the habit of wanting my videos. Uh, it's also amazing when you have someone to film for you, like my buddy Chad that comes up a lot. But I've been getting in the habit of wanting that every single time. Like, wanting higher production quality, wanting to, like, get better my skill sets for editing, all this crazy shit. And. As I was sitting there, unhappy with the footage I was looking at, I went home and just was like, whatever, like, I have a video scheduled this week to film with Alex, a friend of mine. Um, let's, let's just wait till then. But then I actually came across a friend's YouTube channel, um, I didn't even know she had one, and it was literally just her sitting in front of her bed talking, and the video had 85,000 views. And I was like, fuck man, like, last summer I used to be putting out videos two to three a week during Christian Guzman's little summer shredding thing, like, and I didn't really worry too much about the edits. I mean, yeah, each time here or there, I'd throw in something cool. I'd try and learn, get better at uh, video editing. Um, but at the end of the day, man, like, and I just had this realization as I was laying in bed. It's like, dude, like, people are gonna watch someone just because, like, they don't watch for all the sick edits and shit like that. Like, yeah, that makes it cinematic and cool and all that, but like, they wanna connect with the person. They want to, you know, they could sit there and watch a 12 minute video of them just talking as long as they're engaged, as long as the story's powerful, as long as they have a good way of conveying the message. I was like, dude, Ethan, you used to do that all the time. You used to not care much as much about that. It would just be like rough day in life, like harsh transitions. Who gives a shit? Because this is good content. I'm giving people little bits of information about my life, what I eat before the gym, how I work out, et cetera, et cetera. So I was like, you know what, man? Yeah, you got like promoted within your job recently, so that took up a bunch of time. Like I was been busy with that. All this crazy shit going on. But just start filming, dude. Start filming again, everything you can film, and then just throw together shit and put together a video because my subscribers are slowly increasing, but I've last time I put out one was a month ago, and that's unacceptable. So, there's my rant. It feels good to finally just fucking put that out there in the universe, so I'm just gonna start filming shit again. I'm even gonna tell the people at work. I'm gonna be like, guys, there's like, prob this is hilarious, there's like, I don't know, 10, 15 new people that have started in the past uh, six to eight months 
Uh, I work at Movement, by the way. I say this, but I feel like people, you know, will watch this down the line. They don't know. Movement watches MVMT. We basically, the, half the company has seen me vlog at the office. The other half hasn't or doesn't know. So I might just like ping something in the office chat and be like, by the way, I'm going to start vlogging again. So if you see me holding a camera to my face, don't trip. There's that. All right, we're headed to Gold's Gym right now. I did bring this guy. Look at me. I'm prepared. The little mini cam because it's so much easier to film with one person with this thing. So I'm going to do that today. Um, see about getting a little chest workout film, just a couple sets, or one one shot on each set should be perfect. And then, maybe show you what I eat the rest of the day. Do some day of eating there, who knows? I'm just gonna film, like the old days, like last summer. Okay, that feels, that was, that feels good. There. There. Also, you saw this morning I weighed 227.5 pounds. Not bad, biggest and leanest I've ever looked going into this show. Well, it's my first show, but still got a few more months of gaining weight, gain season, hashtag gain season, the never ending gain season. And then I go to Hawaii with my fam, and then time to start prep, baby. All right, I'm gonna turn this camera off, jam out, listen to some fucking music, and hopefully get a sick video full of just so much me ready to go, peace. All right, we made it, Gold's Gym. Switched over to the little camera because it's so much easier to handle. There it is, right over there, between the pilot, the poles, and the cars. Let's go in, let's go work out. All right, this is not fair, something smells insanely fucking delicious right now, and I don't even know if I can go work out, it smells like bacon and eggs and like potatoes. So, wherever it's coming from, damn, it's just made my workout 10 times harder because I'm going faster right now. Shit. All right, we're inside Gold's right now, the Mecca, Venice, California, the best gym on earth. Uh, I'm upstairs in the stretching area, check this out. It's pretty legit. It's an entire area up here for like stretching, abs, doing whatever, but there's two sides. There's three ways, uh, or honestly, there's just three different rooms. This room, that room, and that room. So it's the first, middle, and last room. They're all pretty sick, but I spent a lot of my time in the front room um, to kick off this chest workout. I did try some chest today, I realized as I was walking in, so that's going to be maybe kind of difficult for me to do chest, but we're going to push through it. I always start off with three sets of 10 to 15 push-ups just to get the blood flowing, make sure I'm targeting that. I find it so much easier before you go into your heavy compound lifts, and if you start off to get blood flowing in your chest, that way you don't activate your shoulders, you don't activate your triceps. You know where the muscle needs to be targeted because it's already packed full of blood. You know what to feel for, what to squeeze for, as opposed to just hopping under a bench and trying to push up whatever amount of weight like I used to do in high school. It was easier in high school. You were just limber all the time. I finally get what they're mean when they say that. They mean like, oh, I can't jump under that bench anymore. I'd tear something. It's true, guys. I'm 27. I'm not even that fucking old. And it's so I'm going to throw up some push ups and then we're going to go figure out what we want to do. Here we go. Oh, man. Damn. I've been having fucking wrist mobility issues recently, like, where it really hurts if I, like, bend down and, like, put in the push-up position. It hurts. So, I gotta figure out what the fuck is going on. Once I get warm, it's usually not a big deal. Another set of pathetic. I've also been raising up on this because it helps with my wrist. That was much better. All right, I decided to switch it up a little bit. I came outside, which I never do in the beginning of a workout. That's okay because it's barely doing here. There's like four of us out there, so it's fucking glorious. Famous green wall. Anyways. We'll do a flat dumbbell bench. The only problem with the outside is sometimes the dumbbells aren't as organized, let's say, as the inside. So check this out. Like what? I was able to get, I find a 100 here and a 100 over there, and I think I'm just gonna stick to that, just blast out a bunch of reps. Um, normally I would go to like the 110s, 115s, 120s, but they don't have that out here, and I'd rather film outside. So. It's 
fucking gross out here for two reasons. One, it's like muggy. I had to wipe down the entire bench. It's covered in water this morning. And there's a fucking trash can right there. It just reeks. And I just keep getting whiffs of it in between my set. It's not chill. So, that's what I'm dealing with right now. That went up okay. I'm gonna do another set of that. Maybe go up a little bit more if I can find another. 115. Next up, we're gonna build that upper chest cleavage right here. Something I need to work on. But in order to do that, we're gonna take the uh, little pivot bar, connect it to the wall, and you're gonna press it up with both hands like this. I like to use the 25 pound plates because it allows for the bar to go down a greater distance. You don't risk knocking it on your chin. And when you start ripping them off, which I'm gonna do, a little drop set, it's just easier to handle. So I recommend using the 25s, yeah. not the 45s. Trust me. No one's gonna think you're cooler because you're rocking the 45 pounds, like two 45 pounds as opposed to like three or four 45 pounds, which is actually more weight. But I digress. Let's hit this set. I finished up. Flat bench. It was okay. It was like hundreds were kind of hard after doing like three or four sets. So I just stuck into that. That's okay, because I have a good pump and that's all that matters. Maybe because I did triceps yesterday. Okay, it's gross. Shout out Simeon for this dope ass belt. I've already got like a handful of compliments on it. People are like, do that sick, the double black? I was like, yeah. Black belt like that. It's gross out, so it's time to declothe. Get naked. All right, let's hit this next set. I'm doing drop sets, so. Uh, three, then to two, then to one, and then the bar. Like 12 to 15 each time. It's tough. Make sure you're squeezing with up here. See this? That's why I want pushing. Nothing in your shoulders, nothing in there. See? Once you feel that contraction stop, go right back up on the wrap. Okay. All right, on to the next thing. No idea what it's gonna be yet, but we'll find out. I feel like I need to do another pressing movement, so I'm doing wide hammer strength chest like this. I'm like dripping sweat right now. It's kind of nice because like, you know you're working hard, but two plates on right now. I'm gonna do a set of eight. I already did a set of eight. I'll probably do two more after that, so four sets total. We'll see about going up. So you know you're working hard. Gross. And being a good gym goer. Okay, so there's some girl on the machine I want to use. But she's on the fucking phone. So I'm hitting some push ups. In the meantime, literally she's texting. I can like see her right now.
twice. But it wasn't recording. One, this is the best mirror in the gym. Sunlight comes through. And it's like legitimately perfect for lighting. So, as you're doing chest, you can just literally stare at yourself. Number two, you saw me crossing like this. Allows for a tighter contraction right here. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Let's hit the next set. It looks sick on my head, but we'll find out. You guys have no idea how good it feels to film again. I still have tired eyes. I'm excited to see how far I can take my body, to be honest. It's gonna be a long journey. I was like looking at the time until my competition, which is December 8th, and July 12th, which is in like three days, is 150 days out. It's grind time, baby. Uh, since I did tricep yesterday, I'm not gonna do any more tricep. I'm not gonna do tricep of this. Probably gonna finish up a couple sets on this, then maybe do like a regular dumbbell fly. Uh, and then call it a day, you go drink some protein and get to work. So, see you in the next set. All right, I'm fucking dead. So these flies are like really hard to do and like kind of gives me a pinch here. But I'm gonna film a set because we're already doing it, so I might as well film the whole damn workout. Uh, I was just sitting here looking and like, the sun was hitting me perfectly and like, I love when my chest is all pumped up because I look way, way better. But all right, here we go, in the set. Every set, motorcycles. Filmed every set, got a good pump, kept the pump going, didn't bother anyone. Now I'm about to drink my protein. Two scoops of nutritional warehouse whey protein in here with a scoop of glutamine. Side note, this glutamine gives it like a strange flavor that I can't kick. I've tried putting cinnamon in there, I've tried doing fucking pumpkin pie spice, I've tried doing everything. It won't kick the flavor. It's just like this weird, it just, I don't know, it's not good. It sits on the tongue after you're done drinking it. It's just no bueno. So, two scoops right after. This is the first thing going to my body today, besides uh, pre-workout um, and the pumped edge. Um, then I'm gonna go home, shower, eat, and show you guys what I eat for breakfast, and then head into work. Hope you guys Enjoyed that workout footage. Let's go uh, show you what I eat for breakfast. Um, yeah, this whole thing that I did today was like just fucking film, get going, film everything. Was kind of how I approached videos in the past, and uh, you know I just went with the flow. I stopped worrying about crazy cool edits. I just wanted to get my content and message out there and my tips and shit so that's kind of what I think I'm gonna start doing as we do this. Uh, my other issue is you know I work out in the morning now so I gotta grind 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 get going like just film as quickly as possible keep hitting my sets make sure I'm getting a good workout meanwhile also be able to get back in time and try and make it into work before 10 but regardless I don't want to show up too late so right now yeah we're just gonna freaking go make breakfast steak and eggs let's come on let's go I'll show you Four ounces of carne asada steak, some peppers and onions, 
I'm gonna throw two eggs in there and maybe like three servings of egg whites. Got some rice ready to go in the microwave. Probably gonna do half of that, take the other half to work. And then I've got a ton of vitamins and minerals and nutrients, which I can go over in a later video. I don't have time this morning, but this is a lot of it. And what's up here? Not the honey, but check out all these goods every single day. Notice how it's not like crazy pump pills and stuff like that. The only thing that's kind of like that is the creoquin. I'll show you guys the finished product from this uh, breakfast and we will get going with our day. Feels good to be vlogging again. All right, bye. Here it is. I didn't have time to make it look super pretty because I'm in a hurry. Two eggs, four ounces of carne asada, a cup of rice, 130 grams of egg whites, 82 grams of avocado, fucking gains. All right, on second thought, I think I'm probably gonna close the video out right here. I've got shit to do at work today. I'm filming a vlog tomorrow with Alex Draknik in the evening, so that'll be dope. More content, more content. But I wanted to um, close it off with one other story, uh, which I forgot to tell you about a few weeks ago, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, um, a story about how I almost got kicked out of Gold's Gym, like for good. Uh, it's pretty ridiculous, and you guys will be like on the edge of your seat trying to figure out what the hell is going on. But I actually filmed like around the whole time that like the incident was going on, um, talking to the camera in the car before I went and met with management, um, the resulting action that happened afterward. They even got some voice recordings of it. So at first I was like, should I put this out there? I don't know, but you know what? We're on a streak right now. So I figure out I might as well, right? So uh, I, can't, I don't know if it'll be, it'll probably be right after this video. Yeah, so I'll, I'll drop this video and then I will drop the other one, the story of how, of how I almost got kicked out of Gold's and let you guys hear it there, but this is just kind of a little teaser for what's to come. Fair warning, it's literally just me talking to the camera about the whole situation, but yeah, it's pretty interesting and it had me tripping. It had me tripping. All right, I'm gonna chow down on this because it's probably cold by now. This is the problem when you vlog, your food gets cold. Then have an amazing day. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Please like, comment, subscribe. All three would make my fucking day, my life, my month. A month of my life, whatever. Super easy, just click the subscribe button. Even if you don't have a YouTube channel, if you have a Google account, you have a YouTube account. So all you have to do is click subscribe. Trust me, you can even put it on private if you don't want people to know that I'm, you're subscribed to me. I can't talk right now. Thank you for watching. Here's to many more. Have a great Monday or Tuesday or whatever day it is when you're watching this. Remember, eat clean, train hard, and you'll make some gains.